welcome to another Inside Lansing, where today's guest is uh, Anisha Titsworth, the director of Patty Lee Youth Center, here to join us today. Anisha, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me, Neil. How are you today? I'm doing great, and we're always happy to have you on the show. I'm happy thank to have you. you back. Thank you. Let's talk about the Youth Center. Let's talk about some events that happened recently. Okay. The art workshops. Yes. What happened with the art workshops? What was that event? So we had the opportunity to partner with some of the commissioners on the HRC, as well as the Lansing PD. Um, we did four weeks of art therapy, which was basically, we set up Canvas, we had snacks, and we did conversations. Coming back from a long pandemic, I think it was important to give kids a platform to just express themselves and talk face to face because we've been um, seasoned and we've gotten used to being you know secluded so it was sure. very helpful for the kids to be in groups where they're not at school where there's no set curriculum and they can just be themselves we talked about mental health which was very relevant to everything that is going on right now we talked about family and friend relationships and then we just talked about different triggers how to work on stress and anxiety and just how to balance those things being a young kid or a teenager or even just helping out your family and friends at home yeah it seems like these programs are great for the kids mm -hmm. and that it's something where they learn something and come Absolutely. together as a community and programs are very important to the youth center so mm -hmm. what other programs are going on that the kids can take advantage of or people might want to know about absolutely so i'm excited to get our programs back up and running because this will be our COVID, first right? full summer back in action since the pandemic and since COVID. so unfortunately we had to stop all of our programs due to COVID, but now we will be welcoming back our computer programming class, which will just teach kids a few hefty um, digital workshops such as Photoshop, Adobe, and then we'll teach them like a little bit of editing because these kids are so tech savvy, but I want to give them some tools that I actually help them, whether it be with school projects or maybe they just want to do some projects on their own outside of that we will be welcoming back our culinary club. I'm very excited about that because I ordered all these tools and supplies and then we didn't get to, you know, move forward with it. So we will have culinary and then we'll have our mentorship programs for the girls and the boys broken down in two different groups. We'll have Dow House Girls Club running the girls and then we'll have the young gentlemen's group running the guys. And then we'll bring back the junior achievement program which is financial literacy and college readiness program for the kids. So, well, it sounds like yeah, you're full up. Things. You have a lot of different. We're things We're ready going for on the there. summer and for these guys. I'm very interested in the culinary group. Can I come down and have you a taste test? You definitely can. <laughs> the kids did great last year, so I know we'll have a few return students as well as some new youth. So I'm excited to see what they have up their sleeves and how they put their little twist to our recipes. Well, those programs sound great, but programs aren't the only thing happening at the all. Youth Center. There's plenty going on, including mm -hmm. with community groups recently. You've worked Absolutely. with some community groups. What are some of the community groups, and, and why do you want to work with community groups? I think it'd be obvious, but maybe you could explain why you want to. Absolutely. Um, it may sound cliche, but the saying, it takes a village to raise a child, is very true, and it's near and dear to my heart. I believe that we are a youth center, but it's very relevant and important to welcome the community in. So when I say we have an open door policy, I truly mean it. If you have time, we're there typically between three to six. The summer hours will be three to seven. If you want to stop by, volunteer. If you have a special knack, if you are an old teacher or a camp counselor, even if you just want to get to know the kids in the community, our doors are open. We have partnered, like I said, we recently just worked with some of the commissioners on the HRC. We've partnered with Thornton Township, Megan Dudak. She specializes in everything mental health, everything um, psychologist. She's a therapist. So I think it's good to look at the youth center as a hub for different resources that can not only help the kids, but we can help the family members and community members in general. So you're not just focused on just programs for the kids and just not give them activities, all. but you're also focused on partnerships, you said, and Absolutely. how partnerships play a part. Absolutely. What is the plan there to work with partnerships? How does that work? Well, we have an open door policy right now, so we're putting our plans together to work more with Lansing Library. Um, we have a few events coming up with them. 
for the summer and then partnering more with the churches. Uh, we had a special partnership with Lark. I'm hoping for them to come back into the building and we're open to like Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, any type of group that's in the community or our surrounding suburbs, our doors are open um, and I welcome it. Well, we're excited to see where those partnerships are going to grow this year. I mean, mm -hmm. after COVID and everything, it's great to see everything yes. open back up. And because of that, is there anything in 2022, we could talk briefly about just a few events that are happening that you'd like to let the uh, village know about? Absolutely. We are very excited to welcome back the Lansing Library Block Party. Um, that will be June 3rd. We will be there from 6 to 8, so we'll have games, trivia, we'll have prizes. There will be information there on how to get involved in the Youth Center as well as our activities and clubs. It sounds like, you know, we have a lot to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Before we do leave, I'd just like to ask if anybody's watching, they might want to know how to get registered or is there a way to follow the Youth Center? How could somebody do that? So we have a few simple ways to register. The easiest way would be to stop in Monday through Friday between 3 to 6 o'clock. We can walk you through the process. It's very simple. We'll give you a tour, answer any questions that you may have as far as joining, what times the clubs meet. The second way would be to visit the Village website. Go to the Youth Center's page, go under membership, fill it out that way. We get a form, we'll call you, and you can come on in. And then, of course, whenever there is a community event, whether it be an open house at a school, we usually have a representative there to sign kids up. If somebody wants to follow what the Youth Center is doing, is there any social Absolutely. media they can follow? Yes, our social media. We have um, Patty Leach Youth Center. It's Lansing Youth Center, and all our handles are Facebook and Instagram. So I know for the kids, they are heavily influenced by Instagram. So you can definitely <laughs> catch us on there. Well, it seems like we've got a lot to look forward to in that we're going to be watching we're going to be watching your social media and see where you guys are headed in the future thank you and i just want to again thank you for being on the show anisha thank you and thank you for watching we'll see you next time on inside lansing <laughs>